welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited for this week's video. This is going to be my first official week training for the half Ironman. So basically what a half Ironman is, is it is a 1.2 mile swim, 56 mile bike ride, and then a half marathon, so 13.1 mile run. I am going to be doing this for my 21st birthday. So my 21st birthday is June 3rd. The race is June 9th. So I am super excited to be doing this. Basically to start off, I've just been doing like a lot of different research and things like that, but I am using the app Motive right now. I'm just using the free version. I might upgrade to the premium. We will see. But basically today, it kind of puts together like a training plan for you. And then I'm going to be doing like some modification off of what it says. But today, basically I have a 20 minute intense bike ride. So let's get into it. Ignore how messy the garage is and everything. We are working on building a home gym. So all of this is actually going to be going up on the wall. But I have a Ye Soul Fitness bike. So right now I'm just on the app trying to find a workout to do. Basically what my what the motive app is telling me to do is do a 10 minute warm up, one minute at zone four, two minutes easy spinning. So basically kind of I'm going in and out of like basically sprints on the bike. So this is all super new to me. This is going to be a big learning process for me. You guys are just going to be along for the ride. So I'm excited. <laughs> But that's what I wanted from this. I wanted a challenge that's going to push me outside of my comfort zone that's going to cause me to continue even when I don't want to. You know, on that bike ride, like, my legs are feeling painful. I was like, oh my gosh, that sucks. But I'm like, no, like, I want to keep going. I want to know that I can show up for myself because I can. So first week I've done, I'm excited to just kind of show you guys what my first week of training will look like. But I'm super excited, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. So something that I want to show a little bit of too is just kind of like how I'm eating for this. I'm not doing any type of like what I eat in a day or things like that. So I will definitely be eating things outside of what I'm showing in the video. But recently what I've been making for lunch is like an egg burrito. So a lot of times for dinner I cook ground turkey or right now I've been cooking with ground venison. And so I will just put that in my eggs in a tortilla with salsa and spinach. And it has been so good. You guys, oh, this burrito looks so good. I don't even know if you can see it. I like don't really wrap it. I'm very, very bad at that. And I also stuff it way too full to wrap it. So I basically just eat it like this. Okay, so I just got to the gym where I'm going to start training for swimming. So I need to go and get a membership here, which ugh, I don't want to do. It's literally so expensive, but it'll be really good for me to just get back into swimming. I mean, swimming has so many benefits and I'm excited. My husband's going to be using it too. He's actually going to be the one helping me with swimming. I'm a good swimmer, but I'm not a good swimmer for like athletic reasons like my breathing whenever I'm doing my stride just is not very good I really don't know how to do like specific swims and so like this is honestly the thing that I'm most nervous about and then I think I'm also just nervous about like the biking and learning to I have to ch learn to change the bike tire and things like that so that's kind of nerve-wracking I think also just learning the different gears but I'm really excited again just to challenge myself and try new things like I've never really tried to do this for like long periods of time so I'm excited I'm gonna go get a membership and then we are going to let me look at my app and see I know I'm probably not going to be swimming as long as the app says. I think the app says like a 45 minute swim today. Okay, the, the app says 30 to 45 minutes. So I will try to get in a 30 minute swim. But I think like this week I'm just going to kind of like ease into it. I really just want to get in the water, move, and then just kind of like try to learn some beginner techniques. So I'm excited. Let's do it. 
it, you guys. So this is going to be my first swim of the training, which I'm still pretty nervous about just because swimming is not fully my thing, but I'm excited. Let's do it. Hopefully these work. I will probably need to get better goggles. These probably soak. Let's do it. such a good coach I'm trying. <laughs> okay you guys I just got done swimming it went okay I just am struggling a lot with just my cadence and kind of figuring out how to bring my arm up and breathe as I'm coming up so I mean it's definitely just gonna be a big learning curve it's something that I'm gonna have to be really consistent with showing up pushing myself you know I got my first workout done I showed up I put in the work so it it could have gone worse it could have uh, post workout i am eating a built protein bar these are some of my favorite protein bars i love the puffs they are so good i will actually put a link in the description for an affiliate code that i have if you guys want to check them out they are really good but yeah first swimming workout done let's go for dinner i am making a ramen and it is so delicious i basically just use bone broth soy sauce garlic powder onion powder and minced garlic and then i put mushrooms and carrots in there i use this rice ramen that i get from costco and it's like nine grams of protein per little like noodle thing well i literally look scary right now because i'm taking a shower since swimming okay but yeah this is delicious a really high protein meal with the bone broth and the noodles and it's just like so good like today i don't know i was just like craving something warm it's not even that cold outside but i'm just craving this so i'm excited to eat it for dinner i just got out of the shower and i'm about to go to bed but something i wanted to share with you guys really quick that i have been taking on and off but especially during this journey of me training i'm going to need to be a lot more consistent about it but i take these element packets i don't know if you say element element tea people name it different but basically it's an electrolyte drink mix so it has a thousand milligrams of sodium 200 milligrams of potassium and 60 milligrams of magnesium so just as somebody who is working on exercising a lot making sure you're having electrolytes to refuel your body is super important so i really want to make sure i'm staying consistent with that magnesium also has a lot of benefits can help with sleep and other things like that so I always notice when I take these, I'm sleeping better. I just felt my Simply Modern cup to like right here and pour it in. You can use more, you can use less water. There's a lot of different flavors. I love the like fruity flavors. So I like the orange salt, the raspberry lime, things like that. I also have tried like the chocolate one in like hot water, kind of like a hot chocolate thing. So that's always a good option. Tomorrow is going to be a medium run. So as I'm going to be building in some speed work in there. So I am excited for that. So I will see you guys tomorrow. It's so nice to just like get in my car and my car be warm. It feels so good. Okay, well my right headphone is at like 3%. This one is somehow at like 60, I think. So at least one headphone will last me. That would really suck to try to do sprints without music. All right, let's go. I don't do sprints very often. So I always get like nervous and I'm just like trying to procrastinate it, but I literally have to go because I have other stuff to do today. I had to walk like a little bit to get to the track. So I'm almost there, but basically what my plan is, what I've kind of seen other people do for speed workouts on a track is they'll sprint the straights and then jog the curves. So that's my plan. All right, we're about to run that, jog the curve, run that, jog the curve. only done two laps I'm just gonna do three laps I think because I'm already at 11 minutes I know I'm supposed to do full 15 minutes but what I think 
because like each week on my speed run, I'm gonna do three, four, you know, kind of build up the laps while my hair looks great. Since you're so out of shape, I am, that would be why. One more lap. Obviously not part of my training, but my TLF order came in today, so I wanted to show you guys what I got. Let's try it on. I guess I'm not really sure how you're gonna be able to see this. Try to move it down a little bit. I don't. Oh, skip. Oh my gosh, I literally. Okay, that was crazy. Ah! Please don't fall. Oh my god. Why is this such a struggle? I'll just go show you guys in my full length here. So from TLF, I got this white, just this basic white tee. I kind of wanted something basic. And then I got these super cute shorts. They have pockets, a little TLF thing right there. My phone's in the pocket. Um, These shorts are very cute. I love them. And then I'm also wearing one of their bras right now. I put it on and it was so like smooth and buttery. I was so impressed. Like yesterday I was actually at Lululemon. I put on a bra and like the material of this Honestly, feels the same, so I am so impressed, and I will definitely be getting more of those. This is my TLF fit that I got. Yeah, I will put my discount code and link in the description for you guys to try them out. Happy Thursday. Today, I'm supposed to do a 30-minute cycle. You guys, it is 4.30. I've had a really just busy day running errands, things like that, doing work, and I am so tired. This is like... Ugh, the last thing I want to do today. Yesterday was Valentine's Day, so I just ate a lot of junk yesterday, so just not really feeling my best today. But... We're showing up, we're putting in the work. Let me check the workout and see like how it says I'm supposed to cycle. Okay, today's actually just a steady 30 minute bike, so it's nothing crazy. Well, if it's steady, I might just read a book. We're gonna try to read a book while we're cycling. And then if I don't feel like I'm going hard enough, then I will just put on some music and go a little harder. It really took me forever to find my book. Also, isn't my outfit so fun today? Wearing these navy blue backer shorts from Three Nails. They are amazing. Just a Gymshark Athletic shirt, shirt, and then Nikes. Let's get this party started. Let's do this thing. Hmm. I don't know if I'll be able to read. We might end up watching like a YouTube video or something, but we'll see. All right, that was a sweaty one. Just finished my cycle ride. I actually, it's about to get real bright. I actually ended up only being able to do 23 minutes because I have to leave and get ready for a birthday dinner. That's okay because it's eight minutes more than my last cycle and that is growth. So I have to get ready to go. So I will talk to you guys later. But I'm about to go fuel up with some Chinese food. Delicious. Alrighty, so we are here at the pool. There's literally like nobody here, which I'm so excited about. So my app says I need to get in about a 30 to 45 minute swim. So I'm definitely gonna try to get at least 30 minutes in. But again, a lot of this is still me just like learning and getting used to it. So we'll see how it goes. I've really never even tried to put on a swim cap before. I don't you know how do I keep? <laughs> Her is laughing at me. How does it look? I think I need to take out my earrings. Yes. All right, he helped me put it on. <laughs> this is so awful. I just got a new pair of goggles, so. <laughs> we'll see how they work. Oh, I have little thingies on that we need to take off. I'm like, I literally can't see. Wow, I look amazing, honestly. Exactly, yeah, amazing. <laughs> Remember what we talked about yesterday? Stay at the black Oh, yeah. Don't ever look at the wall. 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 Don't ever look at the
All right, so far I've done about 12 laps, I think. So I have one more lap and then I'm gonna go sit in the hot tub. I feel like I'm finally getting the hang of it a little bit more than I was, so one more lap. That was a lot better. Well, it's kind of the help. Oh, look straight down at the line. This is not only, uh, it's going to help you breathe better. You still look up a back. I know. You don't do that when you run. Right. You look straight. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> but you have, like, all the potential to be a great son. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. I'm trying. <laughs> I don't really know how my hair looks. I wonder how wet it is. Okay, it's actually just like the bun is kind of wet. The hot tub feels so good. Yeah, I feel like I'm finally kind of getting the hang of swimming a little bit. The first day was really, really rough, and today I feel like I kind of got, finally got like a rhythm a little bit, keeping my head down, breathing, pulling it back. So I'm actually really, really proud of today's session. This is really looking up for me, so I am honestly super proud of myself. A lot more to go, but it's a good start. You gotta be proud of every step of the way. Like if you just kind of constantly focus on your failures, you're never gonna be able to push forward. So just knowing that I do have a long way to go, but proud of where I'm at. He has been such a big help in my training. Like literally, I don't know what I'd be doing without him. So I'm very thankful for him. Natural athlete. But definitely not. Definitely not. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm just super excited to be on this journey with you guys of an Ironman 70.3. I'm excited, I'm nervous, all of the emotions. Just so thankful for you guys' support. I'd love to connect with you guys over on Instagram and TikTok, but I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Be a light for Jesus. See you guys next time.